Welcome, human, to ET Ski Tutorials. So, in this episode, we're going to be learning about layer masks with raycasts. So, a layer mask is basically a way of telling a raycast function uh, which layers to actually pay attention to and which ones not to. So, uh, it seems like it would be pretty easy to use a layer mask. Like, let's actually go to the Unity scripting reference and let's take a look at a physics.raycast and you can see layer mask right here of type integer uh, is going to basically be a layer mask uh, that is used to selectively ignore colliders when casting a ray or in other words a way of telling unity which layers to actually detect and which layers not to detect so it seems like it would be easier like oh I'll just stick an integer in there but actually it's a little bit more complicated than that and I got to give credit where credit is due. And I actually got a lot of this information from a particular Unity Answers post, which as you can see right here, it explains it pretty much perfectly. So this video is really going, going to be a reiteration of what was said in here. I'm just going to try to simplify it down into video form. So hopefully if you want to read that, I will put this link in the description below. But if for some reason that doesn't work, you can always just pause the video and read it. It. So hopefully, I'm, I'm going to scroll through it slowly one more time just so that you can pause it and read the whole thing. And there's the original question. Okay, so that should be good. So um, basically what it says um, is that layer masks use uh, bits and bytes. So a bit is basically a zero or one. This is the smallest type of information that you can have on a computer. So you've probably heard that computers think in zeros and ones. These are bits. So that is the smallest uh, bit of information is a bit, just a zero or one. And then a byte is actually eight bits. So a byte is actually uh, eight zeros and ones. Um, so a byte is actually the specific type of information that we need to put uh, and save inside of an integer or translate to an integer, uh, either one, and uh, put it inside of the layer mask uh, parameter of the raycast uh, function, which is actually technically what we did right here, even though that doesn't look like zeros and ones. So basically, uh, the way that it works is, let me count to eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there is a byte that basically turns everything off. And if we go back here, it says that, now I don't, I don't actually, I'm just using this to kind of help you visualize uh, how this is going to work, even though you technically don't actually have to use zeros and ones. Um, but I believe that it says that it starts uh, on the right hand side so as opposed to the left so um, the first layer is on the right hand side so this right here would be layer one so this particular byte would basically say uh, only check for layer one which uh, if we go to layers edit layers layer one is transparent FX so that would be the layer that we are looking for. Or if we wanted to, let's say we wanted to look for transparent effects and water. So that would be one and four. So the particular byte we would be looking for is one, one, wait, one, one, two, three, four. So we change this to a one. So this would be layers uh, one and four. So I believe that is how it would look like in an actual byte. But like I said, you don't actually need to break it down into uh, actual bytes like that. We're actually going to use a technique up here, and we're going to do it uh, using this double less than symbol, basically. So when you do um, one double less than symbol and then a number, it basically says that layer so this would be say look for layer four so if i were to actually delete all of this and just put inside of here one uh double less than four whoops that's five double less than four under the layer mask parameter of the physics dot raycast function as we have right here uh we will only be looking for layer four which is water whoops let me 
click on that. And I believe, yeah, I set this big giant floor onto the layer water. So now, actually, let me go to our Raycaster right here, which is a game object that is a child of the camera. It's, this is all of the same examples from all of the other Raycasting tutorials. So if you're interested in that, uh, link in the description below. Well, my hands look really weird when I do that. Okay, anyways. Um, so I want to turn off this and I want to turn on this. Um, so, oh, this is the JavaScript version. So now when I hold down left mouse, I am only raycasting for uh, anything that is on the layer uh, water. Um, so as you can see, it's going through game objects because they are not on the layer water. So it is much more performance optimized and using like raycast all and just looking for tags, like look for the tag water or anything like that. Um, so this is really good if you're doing like a mobile game or something so that uh, your raycasts aren't doing more raycasts than is actually necessary and it's only raycasting for a particular layer. So that is how to raycast for one layer only. Actually, let me show you one other trick. We can do var um, layer, yeah, let's just actually layer use. I just want to make sure there's uh, nothing else named layer, even though I don't think that there is. And uh, just of type int, and actually let's have that be uh, one double less than four. And then change this to layer use. And now, I think this will work. I actually didn't test it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Let's play it. And yes, it did work. OK, good. <laughs> I would have looked really dumb if that didn't work, but good thing that worked. So basically, what I did is I saved that byte that we got by using this right here. So basically, this is a byte. It translates into a byte. And this byte, when we do one double less than and then a number, it basically says, that layer and then we're saving it inside of an integer and then we're referencing that integer right here so we can write it in either place it's just um one or the other it's just an integer uh you can save it inside of an integer just like any other integer variable um so uh what we're going to do is we're going to put this inside of parentheses and let's say we want to look for either layer um Let's see, what two layers do we want to look for? Um, let's go to layers, edit layers, and then to look at our layers. So let's look for layer four, which is built-in layer for uh, water. So we're going to look for water, and let's name this to something better, like test layer one. Uh, so that's uh, user layer 23, test layer one is what I named it. And let's see, uh, here we go. I already set this one to have uh, this on the layer. Uh, test layer one as you can see up there so I just set that layer to that so this is on user layer 23 and the floor is on default layer 4 so let's go back into mono develop before I forget those numbers and we're going to write or uh, one double less than 23 um, so uh, this is obviously a byte that or I don't know if it's tech uh, yeah on its own it's a byte that basically says uh, just look for only layer 23 and then we have this or symbol which is act actually shift backslash it's it is on your keyboard in case you don't use your that particular character very often it's just a it's just a vertical line it almost looks like an L or I or something so vertical line symbolizes or so now basically this whole thing right here means either layer 4 or layer 23 so when we save that and go into here and actually run it now we should be able to raycast onto the floor uh, and that which is on the layer water or we can raycast onto this blue block which I set uh, test layer 1 or layer 23 uh, just like that. So that is pretty cool if you want to do that. And um, we can also do another one, like let's do or, whoops, shift. All right, so line. Actually, I don't even know what the name of that symbol is. I guess or. So or, whoops, double less than 24. 
And so that is the same thing, except we're looking at three layers. So you can do this and you can do as many layers as you want and actually make a list of all of the layers that you want to look for. Hey, how it always sticks to my mouse like that. Um, let's try to look for like one other game object. Like let's take this cube right here and put it on layer, which is basically uh, layer 24. Actually, let's go to edit layers and let's rename it test layer 2 because saying doesn't work very well in a tutorial. So test layer 2. So this block right here is test layer 2. So when I run the game, we can either raycast on the floor, that block, or that block, but no other blocks. Those are the only ones that we can actually test for because those are the ones that are on the layers that we are looking for. So that's pretty cool and useful, but let's say you wanted to find everything except for these three layers. So what you would do is you would put all three of these inside of parentheses, and then you would use this symbol right here, which is means inverse. So we're uh, now that we put the inverse of these three layers that we listed right here, now we are looking for anything that is on any layer other than these three layers. Or if we wanted to only check for uh, anything that is only on either layer or everything except for what's on layer 4 or 23, we can write it like that. Or we could delete uh, this and only look for uh, everything except for layer four, uh, etc. So basically whatever you put in parentheses and then put this symbol next to, it is the inverse. And if you're wondering where on your keyboard that is, it's shift and then the key that is to the left of the number one. So once again, another symbol on your keyboard that you probably don't use very often. Um, so let's uh, sticks it. See, I'm not touching the mouse. It sticks there every time. That's the most annoying, annoying thing ever. Okay, let's run the game. And now I'm clicking the mouse and it's not raycasting uh, against it, but it is raycasting against uh, these right here. So it's not raycasting against the floor because the floor is on the layer water or layer four. And that is one of the ones that we said not to look for. And then this one right here, test layer one is on the layer uh, 23, which is another layer that we said that we are not going to look for. Uh, and then this is like on the uh, default layer, so we can get that one. This wall over here is on the default layer, so we can get that one. This is on layer 24, and we deleted that one from the uh, list of uh, things in the parentheses that we inversed. Uh, so we can get that one. Uh, these, I believe, are all also on the, the default, so we can get those ones. Um, so yeah, so that uh, basically is how you do layer masks with Raycast and just layer masks in general. I don't know if can you use, there's got to be other situations where you can use layer masks, but this is how you use them with Raycast. So from there, you should be able to do anything you want from only look for this one layer or look for every layer except for this layer and this layer and this layer. So basically now you should have what you need to know to create a layer mask uh, bits or byte, technically a byte integer uh, to tell Unity what layers to actually look for. So hopefully you found uh, this episode uh, interesting and exciting and had all of the information that you needed. So I guess until my next episode, I will see you later and keep making games.